Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Knowledge Boner Podcast. I'm your host, Dylan Starr, and I got my boy Wally Wynn with me. How's it going, Wally? It's going awesome, as usual. Today's hump day, isn't it? Right? Wednesday, hump day? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's hump day. Hump day. It's normally anime Wednesday, but uh, but that's not that doesn't that's not what we're doing today, huh, Dylan? Yeah, we're just gonna dive in, get some give some value for entrepreneurship and stuff. Then, um, you know, kind of kind of looking at what what people have been watching and engaged with. Uh, it seems like the Reddit community really does like the anime Wednesday and stuff, but um, I, I, I'm not seeing too many too many views. So we're gonna kind of we're gonna pivot today and just give some give some value. And speaking of pivot. Uh, that actually brings up a really good topic that I that I think will be very valuable for people today, and um, that is knowing when to pivot and why it's important. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, when you get into the 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 journey of entrepreneurship, you know, you have your vision, you have your goals, um, you know, realize that your goals and your vision can change. Uh, there's going to be tons and tons of points in your life where you're going to have to adapt and you're going to have to move on to something else or focus on something else. Now, I think a lot of people view this as quitting. Now, I don't want you to misconstrue that and, and assume that pivoting is, is quitting because it's not. Um, I, I'm sure, you know, we've pivoted so many times while in different things, but um, why don't you kind of dive into what it means to actually pivot? <clears throat> oh man, um, where, where do you even begin on that? So, I guess I guess the first the first place to start is is you have to figure out one. You know, are, are you growing, right? So so what, that's something that's really important and, and something that brings up a first a really good concept in my first business. Um, and basically, it was that it's like you know we we kind of hit a point where we stalled out, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and so whenever you start stalling and you know and you're seeing your business like and it's not growing anymore. And what I mean by growing is is so this is a little gold nugget for the uh, for the people who want to build like a membership style business. But uh, for you know people, obviously the the objective whenever you want to when you build a membership type model is to get as many members as possible, right? So if that's like a Facebook group, then I want to get as many members as I can in that Facebook group to try to pay me twenty seven dollars or whatever my membership fee is, right? Now. Uh, the, the membership model though is, is one, you have to, you have to maintain leads coming in. So more people signing up to become members into your group. And then you have to also account for the people that are going to cancel their subscription and not continue forward. Right. And so the, they call that a churn rate, right? So, so in a membership type model, if you don't have a, a certain churn rate, meaning that your, your influx of people that are quitting subscription and then people that are joining in are not the same, or at least, at least above or growing, then your business is going to maintain the same income. So in layman's terms, basically no more, no new more, no new people were joining the group. And, and a lot of people were canceled with subscription. So we just had to overcome this model. So we had to figure out, okay, like, is this something that we want to pour more time into or is it, or do we need to make a pivot and, and, and take a different angle at our marketing and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of where, where the, really the experience comes in for me. What, what about you, Dylan? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've definitely tried different types of um, businesses before. I mean, gosh, so many different industries. And, um, you know, I, I think kind of a, a good rate to judge things by. I mean, if you're not getting any results for whatever you're testing or whatever you're doing within like three months, that seems to be like that sweet spot. Um, it's good to adapt and then just kind of pivot and move to move a different route. Um, you know, for instance, let's say you're just doing something like e-commerce, right? And you're a brand new entrepreneur. Well, you know, I used to do e-commerce, um, kind of drop shipping, selling t-shirts and stuff online. And when I first got started, you know, it, it was cool. It was exciting. I was like, man, you can make so much, you can make so much money just selling shirts online. Um, but what you didn't realize was like, there's a lot of extra skills um, that goes into this, you know, such as uh, making your website visually appealing actually understanding how the hell to do your targeting right so you know i'm i'm burning money through ads um you know just following a, a simple method that i found that was in a course and um you know just was not getting the results 
And, and as I, as I went on through my entrepreneurial journey, I realized, you know what, the people that were getting results had far more skills that were necessary in order to make that, um, in order to make that successful. So I, I had to make a decision. It's like, okay, I, I could stick with e right? If there's so much time, I, I could do this. I could take the time and learn the necessary skills that would, would be in, and it would be multiple skills that would be involved. Um, but then I had to ask myself, okay, am I really passionate about this? Is this something that I really want to go all in and, and put my 100% focus on and, and really dedicate time to mastering? You know, so, and I don't know if you've ever felt this way about something before Wally, but, um, you know, I definitely go through this in phases of, of when I'm doing something. I feel like a lot of people kind of get excited and hyped up about certain things, certain industries, uh, certain ways, maybe, you know, maybe it kind of falls into that shiny object syndrome. And then mm-hmm. doing it, you're like, oh man, this seems cool. This seems exciting. You can make money with this. But as you kind of delve in and you're learning about it and you put so much time into it, then you kind of hit this point and you're like, well, okay. You know, am I really, is this something that I really want to dedicate five to 10 years for? Like, do I see myself actually doing this? Is this going to be my main focus and source of income and something that I want to be in for the long haul that I want to be like known for? Is this something I'm passionate about? And, and then I found you know what? like, this is great. e awesome. I would love to have it as a secondary platform to add on to what I'm doing, but it's not, I didn't want it to be my main one. I just wasn't, I wasn't passionate about doing the, doing the t-shirts and designing and, and setting up stores online and, and doing all that. Um, it just wasn't my passion. So I, I, I pivoted, I adapted, and then I moved on to um, learning actual marketing. I was like, you know what, I, I, I want to learn how to actually do marketing. Uh, it's going to be a beneficial skill that would help with e-com anyways, uh, right? Um, actually understanding, you know, funnels and, 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 and appealing to an audience and, and sales and, um I was more drawn to that. So, you know, most people that you would talk to, and let's say you're in that same boat and you're trying e-commerce, you know, they'd be like, oh, you're not doing any, you know, e-commerce anymore. Don't think about it as like, oh man, I I quit. No, you're still in business. You're still an entrepreneur. You still have a vision. You still have goals that you want to hit. You just adapted, you pivoted, you shifted into a different lane and, and, and focused on something else because there are other skills that you need to adapt to anyways. If you read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, okay, uh, it's an amazing book. That book will absolutely change your life. Um, maybe we'll put a link below to it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube or Anchor, I'm, I'm going to find a link to it on Amazon, and uh, I'll post one if you haven't read this book. But, you know, what's interesting is if you guys know Robert, he's, you know, a multi-billionaire, and he had two dads, a rich dad and a poor dad, and he learned different things. But what's fascinating is – he purposely knew that there are multiple skills he would need. And he joined the military for the sole purpose of needing leadership. That's it. So his poor dad was, you know, proud of him for joining the military. Um, and he joined, I think he was in for either four to six years, which um, I did six years in the military <laughs> myself. And he knew that he wasn't making a career out of it. He only joined the military because he wanted to gain the skill of leadership because he was going to need it in business. So he joined the military, his time was up, he left, he took that skill that he learned because that's what his sole purpose was. Then he knew he needed to be able to uh, get into like dealing with uh, foreign affairs and and businesses with uh, countries overseas. So he got an awesome, it was a high paying salary job and his poor dad was proud of him. (coughs) But his whole sole purpose of joining this was to learn how to handle dealing with shipments and, and interacting with um, mm-hmm. uh, other countries to be able to do fulfillment. Cause he's like, okay, this is a skill I'm going to need to do before I go all in on business. So he moved, he worked his way up. He, he put his time in and then he had a really high paying salary. And then his poor dad was very disappointed because he told him, I get it. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't want to do this anymore. I'm quitting. So his poor dad was very disappointed that he was quit, but his rich dad understood why he was doing it. He was only doing it to gain a skill. So he went in, he gained that skill, and then he left. Now, you may say that that was stupid. He had a high-paying salary that he quit. Well, no, he gained a skill and he pivoted. After doing, after learning five or six crucial skills and dedicating lots of time into this, 
Then he started his first business that he went all in on and he absolutely crushed it because all those t- all that time he put in those different things, all those times he pivoted and just made it about learning new skills paid off tremendously. And he wouldn't be where he is today if it wasn't for skills. So what you want to do is if you hit a crutch, especially if you're a beginning entrepreneur, you got to realize that um, anything you get into, you know, take, I know we interviewed on Monday, you know, we interviewed Tim, you know, he's in direct selling. If you don't have any experience in business and entrepreneurship, if you don't have any, the right mindset for uh, handling objections for failure and realizing that that's part of business in general, you know, and, and he's, he has systems in place to be able to get him, uh, you know, leads. Tim has multiple skills, multiple fucking skills that he has learned over time through trial and error and failing and, and adapting. If you heard his story, he fucked up a lot of times in different industries, right? Until he got it right. Now, just because he left those companies and stuff, it wasn't quitting. Tim pivoted until we find the right opportunity, a product he believed in and was able to take all the skills he's learned and apply it to that. Thus, he was able to be successful. So you have to have the mindset to make it about skills and not just, you know, not just money. And, and I think that's, that's the key. So knowing when to pivot and understanding that, you know, if you're brand new and you're listening to this, you know, when you get into your very first venture, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love with you. I thought you're not going to be successful. And I want you to realize when you're hearing this to, to fucking expect it, realize, okay, I'm getting into my very first business venture. I've never been in a business before in my fucking life, and I'm about to try out something new. Now, in order for me to have as much success as the people that introduced this to me, because realize those people that are doing it, if you know somebody that's being successful, you have to understand they have more fucking skills than you. Other shit that you may not know, whether it's sales, it could be copywriting, it could be marketing, it could be persuasion. It, it, it doesn't matter what it is. They have more skills than you. So just realize you're not going to get the same results as them because they have more skill. That's okay. You need to try something out, see what it is that you're struggling with and realize, okay, this is my weakness. I need to focus on this and gain the skill set. Put in so much time, learn and master that one skill, especially if you find something that you're not passionate about and then you can adapt, you can pivot into something else. But you didn't quit. You didn't lose anything. You gained a skill, and now you can apply that to something else. Yeah, do you have any stories like that that you can kind of relate to, uh, Wally, yourself? <clears throat> well, yeah, my my whole my whole life not in business was pivoting until it's I got to what I do right now. <laughs> so, I mean, the, when I first started, you know, it was social media management, right? So I was learning, you know, how to automate all that stuff. So I was using Hood Suite and all that stuff, right? to automate Instagrams and Facebook pages. So I was posting for, you know, I think we had four or five clients at the time. Um, So that's the first thing I learned was social media management, right? But then on top of that, we layered on Facebook ads. Well, you know, what do you got to learn when you got to learn Facebook ads? You know, you got to learn how to do all the targeting. You got to learn how to install the pixels. You got to learn how to do all the tech stuff. And then now you got to learn tracking. So then I had to take a Google Analytics course to, to learn Google Analytics. And then after that, you know, we, we learned bots. So then I did, you know, then I pivoted to bots. And then after we did messenger bots, it was okay, well, I, how do I got to sell this thing? So then I pivoted to sales funnels. So now I use click funnels. And it's so, so, and then, you know, a pivotal part of getting traffic to click funnels was Facebook ads, which is the first thing I learned or the second thing I learned. Right. And, you know, during the time we were a social media management company, we also tried to sell t-shirts. So I also did a drop shipping store where I tried to sell t-shirts. And so I learned Facebook ads that way too. Now, all those ventures, you know, none of them were, were like uh, exclusively very, very profitable, but all those skills have stacked onto, you know, what I know today. And it happens to be a, a decent amount. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that, that's true. And, and what's interesting is if you make it about skills, I mean, guys, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll level with you. I'm, you know, you're, you're tuning into this podcast. You know, I'm here to be real and be honest. Um, you know, you guys, we've talked about this before about um, people close to you you know, their opinions on what it is that you're doing. I mean, you know, my, my close family, you know, my mom and, um, you know, always, you know, ask, well, you've been doing this for years now, you know, every time I talk to you, you're trying something new, you're doing this or doing that. It's not panning out. You know, I don't get it. Like, you know, when, why don't you just get a safe, secure job? Why don't, why don't you just do X, Y, Z and, and make a, you know, you could have a salary, something steady, you know, you're getting predictable income, everything you've tried, like it's not panning out. It's not working for you. 
but in my head, it's like, mom, you, you don't, you don't get it. You don't get it. Yeah. Of course those things failed because there's lots of skills that are involved, but every, I think back to every single thing that I did that did not pan out. And I know what I took away from it. I know what I took away from it. And when you see other successful entrepreneurs, this is what people don't get. This is what people don't understand. You know, and, and, and we know, me and Wally know, there, there are tons of people in, in certain communities in the digital marketing world that, that it, it, you, they call them these overnight successes, right? These overnight successes of people that blow up very shortly. They make a lot of money in a short amount of time. They hit their win. And, and, and they tell you, oh, yeah, I did X, Y, Z. Well, well here, here's outside, the key with that, though. They, they, market, they market the win, but they don't talk about anything else before that. Well, well, not just that. It's just what you don't, what people don't get is, is those people that did that. They've been in this game for fucking years before they had that success. Yeah. So, so they, they joined, you know, let, you know, let's talk click funnels, you know, for, for, for people that like funnels, you know, you, you see these people in the click funnels community that were like overnight successes. They had to, had to win and, and blew up or, or sold something online and made millions of dollars. Well, what you don't fucking know is that these people before years prior have been in the internet game. They've tried SEO and stuff before. They've done blogs and stuff before. They've, they've had the experience driving traffic with other means before. Traffic wasn't fucking new to them. They understood. They knew how to write copy because they had success in other industries before, and then they pivoted. They pivoted to click funnels using different ad traffics, and they took those skills that they used that they fucked up and failed with over the past five to ten years – and applied it and it worked and then they blew up. That's what people don't un- that's what people don't understand. And if you talk to them, guys, if you actually physically fucking talk to them and they will tell you about the past businesses that they failed at, what didn't work and how many times they fucked up and they failed and how finally they had the aha moment where it clicks. Now when I say aha, you know, what do you think of? What's the purpose of this podcast, right? That aha moment is that knowledge boner moment. When you just, you're like, fuck, I get it. Like everything comes together. There's going to be a time in your life and your business when all the fucking pieces just fall into place and then you blow the hell up. Everything, if you're in the right industry, you're, you have your passion, all the skills and every fuck up you've ever done before, you're able to apply and put it into the right thing. Just like Mark Cuban himself says. You know, just go purposely. If you're young, go and fuck up as many times as you can because you only have to win one time. But what people don't get is that one time is a result of all the fuck ups before, all the pivots you've done, combining all the skills that you've learned. And then then it's your time. Then it's your time to rise and to shine. And I think that that's what people don't get. So I don't want people, I want you to realize that you're not quitting. Like, and, and, and get, get people close to you, they're going to think you're a fuck up. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be straight to your face. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They're going to think you're a fuck up. They're going to see you, you trying different things, jumping into different industries, and, and they're not going to understand like, okay, you're doing all this stuff. It's been years, but you have no results. Like, why, why are you still doing this? They don't understand that you're, you're learning skills and it's something that you can apply. They don't get it. They're going to think you're quitting, but you got to realize you're not quitting. You're just pivoting. Now, if, you, if I were to give in, Right. If you were to just give in and go out and find a career and get a job and make 20 years or 40 years out of it, then, yes, that's quitting. You're not really pivoting. <laughs> You're not pivoting at that point. But don't be discouraged. and Don't be <laughs> uh, adapt to the situation, adapt and learn a new skill that you need to be able to apply. Now, if that means going and working for somebody to learn that skill, that's going to be a necessity for your business, then that's smart. OK, so if you take anything away from this, don't make even employment about money. That's the biggest key of rich dad, poor dad. And, and, and that's really stuck with me. And it's the biggest mistake that Robert Kiyosaki says that people make is people will go and they'll look for a job and they'll get hired based off how much they're getting paid. But you shouldn't do that. You should only go and try to get a job based off of a skill that you fucking physically need to learn. And then it's not about the money. And if you can master that and you can make it about skills and not money, you will fucking win 100%. So you have anything to add to that, Wally? No, I think you hit the nail on the head. I mean, if, uh, I mean, in theory, right? I mean, I, I think of it like a video game. And it's like, if I play this video game enough, for enough hours, for enough time, 
there's not going to be any person that's ever going to beat me at this video game. And I kind of view it the same way as this concept right here. It's like, it's like that's the same thing with developing skills, right? Is as you sharpen your skills, you know, you, you're going to get better. And obviously those skills will eventually turn into money for you, right? And the better you get, the more money you make. That's, that's basically the name of the game. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, I'm at the point now where just because I've been in so many different industries and I've learned different skills, where if I hear a newbie, who's just kind of excited about, you know, business or entrepreneurship. And we talk, they tell me, Oh yeah, I just saw, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Like, a, you know, I'm, 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 I'm really excited. I'm going to dive in all in on this. So I'm going to be doing blah, 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 blah. And it's funny in my head, I'm thinking like, Oh man, you, you, you have no fucking idea. Like what, what, what is, what is about to be needed to be able to do what you're, you're trying to do. You have no idea the amount of skills that it's going to take it, it like immediately I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head and crunching everything. I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, you're going to have to need to have to know the, the copy. You're going to have to be able to set up your website. Um, you're really going to have to learn how to do traffic and, 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 and drive stuff, which I don't even know how to explain that to you. Cause you probably don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. And just all these things are just going through my head immediately when I hear it. Cause I understand what all's entailed. And I'm like, they're going to struggle. They're going to struggle fucking hard. And I think that's, I think that's what separates the the successful entrepreneurs from the unsuccessful entrepreneurs is I know a newbie that's never been, that's never been a business, never had entrepreneur drive before. When they get that drive, there's so much struggle that I can see that's ahead of them that, that stuff like me and Wally have already fucking been through. And, and in my head, it's just like, okay, do they have the toughness to stick this out? Do they have the the wits to be able to 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 focus and make it about a skill and then adapt and then pivot and then learn everything they need to learn, not be afraid to fail, realize that they have to fuck up in order to get this right. But what most people do is they just go in, they don't realize that it's just because they they haven't mastered a certain skill set. They fuck up and then they quit. They legitimately quit. They're like, oh, business isn't right for me. I wasn't meant to be an entrepreneur. You know, I guess I just wasn't lucky enough. And they don't, they don't just fucking understand that it's not about luck, that it's about skills. It's about adapting. It's about pivoting. It's about doing everything that you have to do to be able to be successful. So when, when it gets to the point where you do win and you are successful and then someone's like, wow, you're so lucky. You can be like, no, you can go fuck yourself. I was not lucky. <laughs> like I busted my ass. I, I, I adapted. I pivoted. I did everything I had to do in order to be able to win. And, and you can literally look them in the eyes and be like, the only reason why I'm beating you is because I have fucked up more than you are willing to fuck up. That's the key. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. And when you, if you understand that and you realize that if you were just willing to just fuck up more than anybody else, that you're going to win. It's just like, it's inevitable. So that that's, it's kind of it. That's, that's my two cents on pivoting guys. And, and um, I hope that listening into this, that you find that valuable. And I hope that's helpful to uh, people that want to get started in their journey. I I'm, I'm not saying that to scare anybody. Um, I just want to be real with you and just be honest with you and let you know what it's going to take. You know, this isn't going to be like fucking rainbows and butterflies and everything's going to go perfect have to be willing to pivot you're gonna when you do pivot you're gonna face criticism people are gonna assume that you're quitting right that oh it just didn't work out it just didn't work out you know it happens business is hard so you know he's he's just quitting no you're you you learned a new skill you're pivoting you're adapting you're still going on towards your vision fuck all those other people don't worry about what they say so i i think this was an awesome episode um i'm really excited to share that you know you have any final thoughts wally uh yeah just one and it's the uh, i don't know who said this i don't know i don't know who it is but it's the it's a business adage that that's pretty famous and they always say in business you better adapt or die mm -hmm. right and and that's pretty much the the theme of today i think and uh guys you know remember you can find us on reddit right backclass our boner knowledge boner i'm sorry not just boner haha <laughs> uh and uh you can find dylan on instagram uh, at dylan star official and you can find me on Instagram at Wally underscore the robot. I also have the same name on Reddit. Um, we've been getting a little comments on, on Reddit and some people, some people in there, you know, a little, little salty, um, okay. it seems like, but that's okay. I, I, I don't mind the salt. I just like to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> a little salty. Yeah, guys, like I said, um, you know, check out, um, 
there, there should be a link below if you're listening on Anchor uh, or on YouTube. Uh, definitely join our free Facebook group community where we kind of dive into uh, how to get leads, how to close, how to get sales, kind of teach you the basics of those for people that are interested in entrepreneurship. Um, that's going to be the bulk of um, stuff that we cover and teaching. It's completely free. You don't want to miss out on it. So definitely click the link, join the Facebook group, guys, give us some feedback, follow us on Instagram, and we will see you guys on the next episode. So we hope you guys have a wonderful hump day. Later, guys.